Good people, welcome to Fiddlehead, Fiddle Lessons. How do you play the fiddle in tune? In this lesson, I'm going to give you a technique called drone tuning. And what it is, is a drone is a pre-recorded reference tone. Play along with it, and it helps you play in tune. So, um, if I want to tune up D1, which is E, I would play an E drone. I'm going to do it on my computer speakers. Oops, wrong thing. Here we go. Okay, so then I would just play D1. Sounds a little off. And then I adjust my left hand until the tone seemed to align. too far, it's sharp now. Alright. Then I pause and I listen again. And then I see if I can match it again. And kind of keep going back and forth between listening and playing. And that's the essential practice of drone tuning. You're listening to that drone, then you listen to yourself, then you try to hear them together. And it's that process that we'll do over and over again that's going to help your tuning, okay? I want to just pause and say that I think that drone tuning might be the very best thing you can do to improve your tuning. And what we'll do is we'll do it on each specific note. But I just wanted to say that I sometimes use tape with students, but I consider it to be kind of an inferior practice to using drone notes. And, and I use tape just because I think it it, it helps people just when they're on their own and it gets it's just like training wheels basically but the tape only gets you close the drone tuning is giving your ear direct access to the correct note you know whereas the tape is sort of approximate you know if, if you really learn to hear this then you're, you're just directly learning to tune yourself if you use drone tuning I also think it's better than certain apps like Intonia um, which are basically you play and you see a graphical image of how your tuning matches up to what you're listening to. But um, I still think this is better because you're not relying on a visual cue. You're just really training your ear immediately to play in tune. Okay, so with all that said, um, we go back. We have our focus now is on D1. I really want to get D1 in tune. And so now after doing well, in addition to playing along with the drone, just single notes, I can do rhythms. Any bowing that you think, like tremolo. Bouncing, whatever. You're just trying to practice hearing that and hearing it in tune. Long bows may be the best. Well, it's, long bows are hard to really do well. Then you want, as part of the basic drone tuning process, you want to stop the drone. Listen to what you're, you're doing. Okay, it sounds all right. Let's try the drone again. Bring it back. Is it check? Okay, there it is. So, um, in addition to doing single notes, uh, we could do lots of other things. Two notes, which are intervals, exercises, and tune parts. So, um, but all the while, we decide what our focus note is, and then that becomes the, the thing we kind of center our practice around. So right now, I'm centering it around D1. So, um, if I want to do two note interval, I can do D1 to open D. That's the most basic one, and I keep playing the E drum. do four note exercises like D1, 2, 1, I'm going to pause and listen to the drone again. Play the first note, D1, and then do the exercise again. Okay, you could extend it to doing tune, um, tune parts. You know that maybe favor D1. So like, 
Um, I can do first part of Drowsy Maggie. By the way, the drone drones like I use them if you all over the the site, all over fiddlehead.com because you can prep play whole tunes with them, you know. All right, um, but in this lesson, we're, I'm just showing you how to specifically surgically tune each note. So we've, that's the whole process with D1. Let's try a little bit of it with D3. So, any guesses as to what note D3 is? Anybody? Anybody? Right, it's G. So, here, hold on a sec. I have to set this up. Okay, so I would play D3 um, and I would play a G drone. So, there's the drone. I listen a little bit and then play it. If I push it sharp, I really hear it. I really hear the dissonance. But actually, it, it, this is a playing in tune. You you might come to really enjoy this process of when it, it locks into tune, being correctly in tune. It's very satisfying. You can even do this as an exercise to kind of adjust it to push it slightly flat or sharp. so satisfying when it gets into tune. Okay, and so now G3, or um, sorry, D3, which is G, is our focus note, okay? And so I play the drone, and I can now do other exercises besides just a single note. I can do three to one. So now, since we're not working on D1, we're working on D3, we have a different focus note. And so we use the G drum. If I did the same exercise with an E drone, E, has a whole different sound to it. All right, but so that's kind of cool too from a musical enjoyment point of view. As you use different drones with different things, you'll kind of it it turns like these basic exercises into something really interesting and fun. That's a whole other reason why I like um, drone practice is that not only do, is it the be very best thing for t learning to play in tune, but it's just sort of enjoyable to do. Like it turns just simple s exercises you got to do into something kind of cool sounding. All right, so you would then repeat the entire process for for D three. We we would do two note intervals. We could do exercises, all with the drone gone. And then every once in a while, just return to the basic note, the single note. All right, so cool. So. Um, the last thing I'll say is that I've created a library of exercises to help you practice tuning. And you can use those exercises, which are play along kind of call and response loops. But you could also take the same exercises and practice them at your own pace using drones. So, like, so instead of having to play in time to a beat, I can slowly practice an exercise on my own and then later go and use a play along track. So cool, hope this is helpful. I'm gonna continue this series of lessons to help you play in tune. And the next one is gonna be on call and response loops. Appreciate your watching and we'll see you next time, folks. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video clocking. Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.